How's everyone going? It's Grant with the Garden of Eater and I know I haven't made a video in quite a while and a lot of that has to do with you get to a point where you got 150 plus tanks in the house and you know I got some ponds going on out back now and you you just don't have time in the day to edit videos or make anything you know for YouTube or Instagram or anything like that without it cutting into quality family time and I was just not willing to sacrifice any of that so I had a put a break on doing the videos until I could get everything organized and more efficient so I had more time at the end of the day every day to where maybe I could do some videos or just play some video games or hang out with the family and take a break but I've definitely got it way more organized and I got it to the point where I can get the whole house done plus everything outside in nine days and take three or four days off before I got to jump back into the routine and start all over again but I'm going to show you a lot of that in future videos and try to produce, you know, a weekly video, but I, I'm done editing and doing those scripted how-to videos. So I'm going to more show you videos of how I'm doing things, uh, more progression videos, updates and stuff like that. S some videos on origin, how I got started, and maybe progressive videos like moving from red cherry to blue velvet, crossing different neocaridinas covering all the neocaridina and then moving into caridina and other species like paracaridina. So I think those are the videos people want to see and those are the videos I'd be interested in doing, working with genetics and keeping you guys updated on what's going on. So without saying any more, let's just jump right into it and show you guys something that hasn't even been on the channel yet. So this is what I got going on. A whole bunch of IBC totes on a closed loop air system that blocks off basically the left side of my house if you're looking at it from the front and all of these are just freshly cycled I just basically got cut 275 gallon IBC totes just like this they were you know used beforehand but I've cleaned them up I cut them I put some screen on them drilled a hole in it plumbed my PVC pipe here drilled a hole for the air adjuster, stainless steel, and I've got my filter running and I got a bit of screen to cover it to stop, you know, the debris from getting in, but mainly stop the dragonflies from getting in cuz dragonfly larvae can eat 200 shrimp in no time. So the screen's just really easy to remove and I've got a 250 gallon rated sponge filter in each one of them. Just one is plenty. I've got substrate coming for these. I don't have substrate in all of them, but I do have substrate in some. So I've got these 12 IBC totes outside basically cycling, but I do have some shrimp already in this one. We've got some blue dreams in here. There's one right there. I just threw 40 of my nice ones in here, juveniles to get started. You can see a couple on the walls. So this is just basically fresh cycled, been running for a month. I started it with Florin Bacter and a little bit of Florin Multi to get the cycle going and ran it for 30 days and threw 40 shrimp in there to get it started and going. These two are ready to be stocked as well. I just haven't decided what color to put in there. And then these two are just basically a fence for the dogs so they can run around and have their, their fun all right out here and get a little bit more play space but what has been breeding for over a year now is inside the greenhouse basically different color in every single one to keep them pure and the genes untainted I don't want wilds in all of my tubs so can't really show you any of the shrimp with the filters cranking and the glare from the Sun so I'm gonna turn off the filters here in a second and go over what I've got in the different tubs in the greenhouse so now that the filters are turned off, you can see the shrimp a little bit better. There is a, a bit of glare from the sun, however, you can tell that there are yellow uh, 24 karat golden neocaridinas right in this tank. This is my main tank for these guys. It's just a cut IBC tote, only about 175 gallons of water in there with a 250 gallon sponge filter. I've got some plants and baskets but very simple very easy 
The temperatures out here can range from 40 in the winter all the way to 95 in the summer and these guys are just as hardy as it gets and they can take it. I got red in the little trash can. I got some wilds in here. This bucket's just full of moss. I've got my blue dream coal bucket over here from this tank of blue dreams. You can see all the blue dreams right there. You know, just a couple of buckets of plants in here in the filter, and that's all I really have for all of my tanks. This pond is red really. This one is orange really. There's a little bit of protein film on this pond. There are blue ram's horn snails in here, and I have been trying to boost their breeding, so I've been overfeeding in here. This pond is going to be very hard to see with the glare. My green emeralds are in here, just one of my ponds. I've got a couple tanks going inside. Same with the green jades. The main tanks are inside for these guys, but there are a couple thousand green jades of different grades in this big pond, but it's so hard to cull and grade them in here, so I like to catch big scoops of them and move them inside into tanks, and I'll show you guys those later. I've got my snowballs in here. Now, if you can see the different nets, I keep a different net for every pond. No net goes into other ponds. I don't cross-contaminate. So everybody has their own net. There's red cherries in here. That's my secondary tank. This is the main tank in here. I did get hit bad by tadpoles. The frogs laid eggs in here and I was just not able to remove them all and the tadpoles were eating up the babies. I've got orange in here, but the barrels are just the hardest to find any shrimp in. The glare is so bad, but you can see some orange going there. This is my secondary blue dream pond. Another pond where I'm trying to boost the population of the snails and, and the population of the shrimp. So there is a bit of protein film on the on the water here. Red cherry coal pond, blue dream coal pond, black rose coals, and just some moss in there. And here's the black rose main pond. I only started with maybe 30 shrimp in, in this pond last December and I've already sold probably over a thousand shrimp out of it, just this pond here. Some nice plants I got from Chance Kramer here down in South Florida. Some apple snails with my yellow coals and then Bloody Mary pond in here with some giant Colombian ram's horn snails. But this is the greenhouse basically. And I'll, get, I'll keep you guys updated and post some future videos when I have the other IBC totes out here set up. But this will be basically the style of my videos here to come. I hope you guys enjoy and um, will subscribe for future content. Thank you for watching.